Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Scott Lennox here from Hooked on OC and Fishing OC in the house with you. I've um, got a beautiful day here in Ocean Pines and we are getting ready for our Ocean City Inshore Classic Tournament. Uh, one of the things we do for the Inshore Classic Tournament is we give away 50 buckets for the first 50 boats that sign up. And I figured, uh, why don't I make a real quick video showing you guys how I'd change it from a regular old bucket to one of our cool rope handled buckets. It's real simple, it's real quick, and it's real inexpensive. So you want to take just your regular old metal handled bucket um, and turn it into a nice rope handled bucket where you're not going to lose it and drop it overboard real easily. You don't have to worry about this clanging around and stuff. Uh, stay tuned, man. I'm going to show you how to do it real, real quick. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button. If you have any questions at all, comment below. Uh, we answer all, all the questions that we get on our YouTube channel. We appreciate you guys tuning in. So it's real quick, real simple, and uh, real inexpensive to do these buckets like they are. Got this cool bucket from Sherwin-Williams. They donated buckets for us this year for the Inshore Classic. And now I'm going to swap these metal handles out and make them into rope handle buckets. Uh, a little bit nicer for marine purposes when you're out there fishing, boating, that sort of thing. Um, here's what you need. You need a five gallon bucket, four gallon bucket, one gallon bucket, whatever. You need a bucket, something to cut your rope with, a length of rope. We like to use the uh, double braided nylon. Regular twisted nylon will work, but double braid works much, much better when you're burning. You need a some sort of pair of pliers, something like that. Um, you're going to want to make sure you can get these handles off real easy. A drill with a three quarter inch drill bit, three quarter inch hole drill bit. You're going to want a blowtorch. Lighter will work, but I like to use a blowtorch just because it's fast to get that flame started. You want to have, boom, a measuring spoon. This is a one tablespoon measuring spoon. We'll get to that in a second. Concave in the middle. You're going to see where we use that and makes this so it doesn't come out of the bucket. But very, very cool technique I found to use here when we, we melt the end of it that you're going to want to pay attention to. Got a pair of gloves. I got my eye protection. Just in case things go awry, I've got a, a fire extinguisher down here, just in case. So let's get started. All right, ready to rock and roll here with this bucket transformation. First thing you want to do is you're going to want to take this metal handle off of this old bucket, right? Most of them pretty easy. You just pop them right out of here. These Sherwin-Williams buckets, they're pretty nice buckets. So you're going to have to get a pair of pliers and pop this thing out of here. Put a little pressure on it. Just get that metal to come loose. I gotta say, ugh, some of them are gonna be a little tough. The other side, side should be a little bit easier just because you've already taken the pressure off of it. And it's just like that. This is trash now, we're getting rid of that. And now you're left with those really, really small holes on both sides, you're gonna use those to your advantage. Take your drill, three quarter inch drill bit, and very slowly go in that hole it's already started for you, and just drill, drill that out. You're gonna wanna go slowly because if you go too fast, you're going to blister this and it's going to a crack and you're not going to want that. All the way through both sides. Get rid of your little snaggles. All right, same thing on the other side. Through both sides there. All right. Good to go. Now you can see I've got a three quarter inch hole on both sides of the bucket. Ready to rock and roll. Now, I like to use about three feet of line. Um, just coincidentally, my tabletop here is exactly three feet. So it's easy for me to measure off. Take my three feet of line, cut it any way you'd like. You, can, you don't need to worry about using a rope cutting gun because that's gonna melt your end. And you don't want that because you're gonna be melting the end here in just a second. Got a ninth, nice length for how long I want my handle to be. And then here's how we work this. You're gonna take the rope, stick it through your three quarter inch hole, get it through to the other side. And then you want this end to be frayed like that. That's perfectly all right. And then here's where the magic happens. Start your torch. Get this thing nice and hot, get it flamed up so it's caught fire and melting really, really good. That should do it. Don't need to worry about blowing that out. Take your measuring spoon and press that bad boy right in there and push down with a little pressure. Give it a couple of twists. And the reason we do it metal is because as that melts and then starts to re-solidify, the plastic in the nylon is gonna make this nice end here, all right? So I got this nice end. I don't need to worry about a washer or anything like that. And as I pull this through, it's gonna automatically seat itself against the inside of the bucket, just like that, okay? That's not gonna pull through. That's why we use a three quarter inch hole and five eighths nylon. 
because when that expands, it gets to be an inch or more on that melt, and that's not going to pull through there. Okay? Other side, put your rope through the three quarter inch hole. Give yourself plenty of room to work. Start your torch. Once again, get this nice and hot. You really want this thing to be flamed up and melting. And then give it a nice press. Don't be afraid to push down and really smash that thing out. You want that to mushroom out so that as it re-solidifies and gets hard again, it makes that nice hard glue spot. You can see how hard that actually is. My other one's already dry. So if I pull this through, you can see what that's turned into. It's turned into a really, really super hard, almost like a washer being on there anyway. And there's no way that's gonna pull through. That side's locked in. That side's locked in. And there you go. We've taken our regular old Sherwin-Williams five gallon bucket and turned it into a nice rope handle bucket. That way I can take this thing and throw it over, overboard, grab some water and pull it up in there. It's nice and comfortable to handle now. Don't even need, really need the gloves obviously anymore since I'm done with the torch. Didn't burn the house down so I don't need the fire extinguisher. But there you go. Get any color uh, rope you'd like, any color bucket you like. Inexpensive, man. These lengths of rope, uh, you can get them pretty inexpensive nowadays. Got 100 feet of rope to do our inshore classic buckets. It was only around 40 bucks. Uh, I got blue and white, I've got red and white. And then like I say, these buckets were donated. You can find pickle buckets, all sorts of buckets all around where people will give them to you for free. <clears throat> and don't get me wrong, there are some really nice buckets out there on the market, but if you wanna make something that you can use around the house or use on the boat and not feel too bad about losing it overboard, really easy way to do that. And I hope you enjoyed it. There you go, five gallon bucket, rope handle conversion in less than five minutes, all right? Scott Lennox, make sure you like us on, uh, here on YouTube, like us on social media, it's iFishingOC on Instagram and OC on Facebook. We'll see you next time, Lennox out.